Christmas before you just crashed off. <laughs> Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. That's scary. Uh, today, the cartoon and I will be drinking a very special beer. Is Lachlan here? Today we will be drinking, how do you say monkey in Latin? And look, it's a monkey in a robe. <laughs> this is a double IPA, but Belgian double, D-U-B-B-E-L. Uh, it's bottle conditioned. It was made for the Canadian Brewing Awards. Uh, it's a conglomerate collaborative br brew with uh, Sada City, uh, Chesterville, Cheshire, um, I know who makes it. It's tiny. What the hell is that? I don't expect you to even know what the hell that's. And black oak. What's the crest say? I, I don't know. You tell me. I can't read that shit. That's fucking mad school. Uh, that is. I don't know. Uh, Charlvoke. Yeah. yeah. C H R L E V O M. Whatever. 6.8% alcohol, 60 IBU. Uh, on the back here, it has the original gravity and the uh, final gravity. Who yeah. really cares? Um, <laughs> anyway, ingredients Kara Aroma Malt, Pilsner Malt, Wheat Malt, Munich Malt, Galaxy Hops, Legacy Hops, uh, Nelson, uh, Nelson Sauvine Hops, Trappist Yeast, Extra Dark Candy Sugar, and Regular sugar. You look a little scared. Yeah, I, I, I am. Yep. I'm not. I'm, I'm um, scared. there's one hop in there I've never had before, and the other ones. Uh, one of them. I thought they named their hops after like. Is it the Galaxy? <laughs> Transport planes. Because what the fuck is Galaxy hops? I've had Galaxy hops. Have you tried your bottle of this yet? Not yet. Okay, we'll pass me to take a little bit of that. We do have, we do have three at the house. So, nice dark color. Look at that head. Yeah, that's oh. a, it's a nice dark head. It looks a, beautiful. It scary I, I think Tim is about to have a crisis Smell here. Smell this. I can't yet. I'm too busy being afraid of the color in the head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, for a Fuck's sake. <laughs> but, do you smell the pineapple? Uh, yes, a little bit. Now, the reason yeah. I bring that up is remember what we were talking about earlier. What were we talking about earlier? I'm sorry, I totally forgot. Oh, right. Very sugary. It's really nice, though. It smells really nice. Let's try it. Pineapple, citrus, lots of... Oh, that's For yeah. the internet's pleasure, I'm just going to zoom in on these two's faces. This will give you what you need to know. Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, are you kidding me? That is a beautiful, beautiful beer. You know what? It's, it's a lot like his 10 Bitter Years, but with more of a punch. Yes. Actually, it's more fruity, I think. Yeah. Yeah. A lot more, more like a lot more fruits come out. Yeah. And a lot sweeter, but I mean, it has sugar and dark can dark cane sugar. So I mean, it's yeah. gonna come off well, candy sugar, I should say. The Trappist yeast is gonna give it more fruity flavor too. Everything in this is to make it taste amazing. Yeah. But it's got a nice hops falcon punch. I like that. Mm. So you should enjoy that. It's not a brutal punishing IPA. Very nice. Yeah, it's very nice and sweet up at the forefront. Lots and lots of malt flavors. Mm -hmm. <sighs> when the hops hit, you're getting pineapple. You're getting the banana. You're getting you're getting citrus. You're getting cedar. You're getting some pine. You are getting falcon punched, as you say. But at the same time, with all the sugars and everything in it, it's sweet. It, so it's balancing out. It's not really bitter yeah. on the background. It's it's wonderful. I, I I find this is actually a little sweeter. It's more balanced on the sweet side than it is on the bitter side, and I really like that. I, I I'm really enjoying that a lot. This is this is awesome. I'm very glad I have. Well, I've only got two this once for fall, but maybe I'll have three, depending. Paul would probably punch me in the face. But. This is this is great. Mm -hmm. Um, I think I know that this was just made for the Canadian Brewing Awards. There's a bunch of bottles out there. A bunch of people have a bunch of bottles, but 
this should be made all the time. Yeah. This yeah. is uh, this is Fuck amazing. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Um, all three of you that collaborated did a great job. The thought process was amazing on this. Everything that went into it was amazing. James hasn't said anything, so I'm pretty sure he likes it because he's still drinking it. Do you have anything to say, James? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I do. Um, you have the stick. Well, for an IPA, I haven't stopped drinking it. That's one thing. Um, uh, I do have something... I, I, I feel it's kind of negative to say about it. Um, I understand why the sugars were added. It kind of, uh, it's, it's sort of, um, I think it filled in the place where the malt should have been, but they didn't do. For the sweetness, for the balance, I, I was kind of expecting a little more of that. Um, well, it is bottle conditioned, right? Any bottle conditioned beer will have sugar added. No, no I, I understand, but um, it's, the specific sugars they used, I can taste. It's not malt sweetness, it's, it's sugar sweetness, and I'm, and I'm getting that. Um, all in all, I, I'm not sure what they did, um, <laughs> to make it, to make it taste like something you want with your breakfast, but they did, because it kind of tastes like a beer smoothie. Are you saying this is a breakfast IPA? This is a breakfast IPA. <laughs> I've had three of them in my entire life, and this is the third one. <laughs> I recommend this in the morning on your day off with your fucking eggs, your French toast, your goddamn flapjacks, your fucking sausage, your bacon, your fucking what, what, pork products of any kind. I don't give a shit. I, I'm sorry, this is not a kosher beer. It needs to be with pork. Uh, it's it's just fucking fantastic. Now what what I what I can suggest for you is um, if you're tasting it for the first time, don't go anywhere near what just happened. That's right. It'll fuck up all your senses. Uh, the man just shut himself. Uh, it's just insane. You can't, I mean, you know. What did you eat? Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know what, for the uh, for the breakfast beer category that I have now come up with uh, for myself, oh. uh, th this, 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 is a, this, is, this is a pretty great beer. Um, what else is in the breakfast beer category? Uh, the, the, the Smash Bomb Atomic IPA because it's grapefruit juice with bubbles. It's awesome. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, right. I, and I, I like grapefruit that. juice in the morning. That's my go-to juice. We were I just talking about how I don't do yeah. orange or yeah. apple. I really like do grapefruit. I can and, see that. Uh, yeah. uh, um, I, ke I kept the other one. I, ke I kept the bottle. I don't remember what it is, but it's sitting on by the bar at home. I, I always forget the name of it. It's uh, Tony brought it to me, and that that's the other one that's on my breakfast beer list. Okay, so out of ten, guys, like um, we all we all have liked this. Yeah, this gets an eight seven five from the cartoon. For breakfast. Ooh, for breakfast. Uh, I'm gonna go nine. This is fucking fantastic. Well balanced. Excellent drink. Like, absolutely brilliant. Great fucking name on the bottle too. Like, come on. Like overall, this is a fantastic fucking product. Now, fan fucking tastic. To Ken and Sam and the rest of the group that made this, it should get a nine seven five, but you're not going to since I can never get it again once the bottles are gone. Ah, you're gonna point. get a nine. That's a good point. Um, so again, flavor amazing. Unfortunately, I can't get it again. So a nine out of ten for myself. Yeah, yeah. We have to hoard the fucking bottles. Did I hear a nine out of ten? Two nine out of ten. Two nine. And I think the IPA dance. I think the IPA dance. We do not have a double. So we don't have a double. Yeah. No. But it's it is an IPA. This is epic. This is fucking awesome. What is the IPA dance? I think it was your cock uh, cock punch dance. Cock punch dance? Yeah, you were like fisting and thrusting your hips. Because I watched a video where you were th fisting and thrusting your hips, and I'm pretty sure that was an IPA. Fisting? Was I doing this? Do yeah. And thrusting my hips? Yeah, you were like doing a cock dance, and then you started fisting at the end. Oh, okay. Oh, sexy dance. Okay. <laughs> we were doing like a sexy dance deal. All right, yeah. Oh, fair. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Jimmy, if you'd like to move out of the way. I do. Mr. 8.75. <laughs> Fucking cop out. <laughs> Yeah, like I cop out anyway. It should be an aggregate roundup. That's what it should be. We should be like, oh, it's up five. Okay, well, we both give a 9.5. I can't give a breakfast beer over that. What? Why not? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why can't you give a breakfast beer? I don't really want to cock dance towards you. Oh, you're going to, though. You just get it in. Like It's fine. You don't have to do it. I'll just I'll just do it myself. Hold on. i got to take my shit off here. Because we kind of got, you got to get, see, you're wearing a shirt, you got to get the button on shirt. Because you have to sort of get like a... Do it for the viewers. Come on, dance it up. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Sexy. Yeah. 
The junk bag. Run, Chad. Oh, run. Oh, oh, oh. Tim, next, uh, next career. Fucking Chippendales, buddy. I don't fuck Chippendales. I date them, all right. Chippendales. Right. I can see you with the bow tie. That's right. Yeah. Get your beard caught in it. <laughs> ah, ah, my beard. Oh, my beard. Oh, my cock beard. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, my cock bow tie. Oh God.